Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to another top 10 video on the channel. Today I'm going to be going over the very best RPG and adventure Minecraft mods. Some will take you to new dimensions while others are literally out of this world. So make sure to hang around to see all the different mods we have for you today. As always, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my top 10 videos or my mob battles. Anyway, let's get on with the episode. First today on our list, we have the Biome Bundle mod. With this mod, it adds in 400 new original biomes, with over 2,000 structures contained within them, which include the likes of custom trees, rocks, caves, dungeons, villages and more. The mod is split or described into four main parts, the custom biomes and terrain, objects, structures and mob spawners. All in all, I think this is an outstanding mod to greatly expand your world. The reason for the low ranking of this mod on this specific list is because it doesn't fully fill the requirements for an RPG mod, because it lacks that quest element and progression system to it. Next up for you, I have the Betweenlands. This large and expansive mod adds a whole new dimension to Minecraft along with its own blocks, mobs, items and even music. Compared to our previous mod on our list, the Betweenlands does have an aspect of progression with the goal of the mod being to reach the dimension of the Betweenlands, gather new materials, craft new armour and eventually defeat the main boss of the mod. The reason this mod has placed 9th is that even though it has met the requirements for an RPG and adventure game, it is still very limited and small compared to the upcoming ones. Now we move on to the Aether mod. The Aether is a popular content mod which includes the Aether Realm, the opposite of the Nether that includes several new blocks, mobs and items, as well as a whole new accessory system. Dungeons in the Aether are much more complex than in the normal world. Each of them will have a boss which has to be defeated to get the key required to open the grey chest located inside the dungeon boss room. Blocks, which make up the main structure of the dungeon, cannot be destroyed or obtained until the boss of the dungeon is defeated. There are also three dungeon types, bronze, silver and gold. Only thing letting this mod down is the lack of detail added to the mobs themselves. Up next we have Monster Hunter Frontier Craft. Inspired from the Capcom game Monster Hunter franchise, it very closely replicates that. From its quest systems, crafting of your various suits of armour and weapons, and it beautifully captures the likeness of the monsters from the franchise. The questing system is just like that of its Capcom counterpart, which makes the mod that much more enjoyable to play. The one downside is that the mobs are extremely strong and sometimes seem impossible to kill, which can make the gameplay a little tedious and annoying. Next on this list is the Digimobs. If you're like me and was a massive fan of the Digimon show as a kid, then you're going to really love this mod. Travel the world and collect your favourite Digimons, store them, evolve them and battle them. The models for the Digimons look absolutely fantastic. This is a very detailed mod with lots of components and thus I highly recommend checking out their wiki to help you get started on your Digimon adventure. Moving on we have Galactic Craft. This extremely well known and loved mod adds space exploration into your game with great detail. Craft rockets and spaceships and set flight to various destinations in our solar system such as the moon, Mars, Venus, asteroids and even space stations. With all these various places to explore and intricacy of the mod, it will help provide you with hours of ample fun and exploration. 
As with the previous mod, I do recommend checking out their wiki for any information needed. Now we have Tragic MC. The purpose of this mod is to bring more difficulty into vanilla Minecraft without altering the core gameplay mechanics too much. This mod aims to add a bunch of unique feeling items slash weapons as well as add some interesting new potion effects and enchantments. This has generally thought of a mashup of a bunch of popular adventure style mods and it is best played in my opinion with vanilla Minecraft and maybe a few other smaller mods like the minimap mod. You'll find ample amount of mobs and mob bosses to fight as you progress through this difficult world. In at number 8 we have Abyssalcraft. Abyssalcraft is a mod centred around exploration but with growing magical elements that takes heavy inspiration from HP Lovecraft's Cthulhu Menthos. This mod will have you encountering twisted looking monsters of the dark depths, casting eldritch rituals, using forbidden artifacts and summoning powerful bosses not of this world. The deeper you delve into this mod, the more twisted the worlds become. As far as Minecraft RPG mods go, this one is spectacular and only defeated by our last two mods. Coming towards the end is the Ice and Fire mod, a very well renowned mod, especially on this channel. Ice and Fire aims to bring to you a revolutionary dragon experience. This mod doesn't just add dragons to your world, no, it adds a slew of other mythical creatures and beasts such as cyclops, trolls, sea serpents, gorgons and lots more. With certain mobs you will be able to locate anywhere in the world, others like the cyclops and the gorgons you will find in their own little boss rooms. You will need to defeat specific mobs in order to progress and move on to the more deadly tasks. This is truly a great RPG and adventure mod, with stunning looking mobs, models and with lots of quests to complete. Finally today we have the Twilight Forest mod. Twilight Forest is a dimension exploration mod focused on adventure that will take you on a journey meeting strange creatures, exploring dungeons and much more than I'm able to list right now, but those are some of the main features. Fully fledged dungeons, diverse boss battles with actual mechanics, items and loot with unique traits and functionality. This is truly the best out of all the various RPG and adventure mods for Minecraft out there. I did do a mini series on this last year sometime and it was truly epic and amazing to play. I highly recommend this mod to anyone looking for a deep in depth new Minecraft adventure. It comes with my stamp of approval anyway, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that one. Well, that's it for today's video guys. If there are any mods that you think should have been on this list, or if you think you would have ranked things in a different maybe order, please let me know in the comment section down below. For the next week's top 10 guys, also make sure to let me know what you want to see then. But as always, thanks for watching, until next time guys. Yeah.